Hey everybody, Brian here from QuantLabs.net. Okay, so I'm going to show you this uh, Interactive Brokers Java Test Client Program. I've shown this before, I believe. If not, if not, this is the first time. So what we have here is our Interactive Brokers in set in classic mode. Don't forget to configure your API TWS uh, or for configuration of accepting socket clients. And um, yeah, you gotta do this every time. API settings, make sure you've got that enabled. ActiveX and socket clients. And if you want to take orders, de-click that. Precautions, check off all that. Okay, good. Now we're ready to do business. So this is the uh, source code. You can download this from interactivebrokers.com. Now, um, in here, I'm going to run the uh, Java client, test client. Uh, so it's loading now. It's automatically connected. You can see in the data farm it's connected. Come under market data. We're going to choose IBM and request market history. Here, you'll see that we're now pushing the latest data into Redis. So every time there's a tick change, it's going to take all this information, which is the bid, ask, uh, volume, I, I don't know, I can't remember, the latest price. And um, here's the application running. Uh, no, this one is running. Now that's all cool, but guess what? I can now add in a second asset if I want, Apple. So now we're now watching two assets. We got Apple and IBM moving along. And uh, it's get, like I said, it's getting pushed into Redis. Now, if I come into my Redis client, which is here, if I do Redis hyphen CLI, I can now do an L range on uh, IBM, let's say zero negative 10. And here's the latest data that is available in my um, Redis. Now I can do the same thing with Apple, I hope. <laughs> Let's hope it works, I'm, 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 I'm confident it will. There you go, so there's the latest data for Apple. Now let me just terminate the this program here. Uh, and I've shown this before, this Java client. So uh, all you gotta do really is include your Jetis uh, binding for Java for Redis in the project. Uh, for anybody who's new in Java, I hope you kind of know how to do this, but if not, come under properties, come under build path, click off libraries, external jars, and just go to your, navigate to your Jetis jar file, wherever it resides, and just include it, simple as that. Okay, so then you can import it to your code. In this case, we're working with top model Java. It's, it's just a quick hack, really, in the current code, but it's very simple. So what all I did was, is I've added a temporary uh, double uh, variable here called a list price or last price, which is the temporary price of the last price. So, um, I need to really do is when the last price is not equal to the current uh, M last price, it's retrieved from Interactive Brokers, which is the current latest price versus the previous price, and it's different. And we know it's different. Obviously, we put and push that into Redis. So all we do is connect in the WIT. Uh, in this case, I don't really need these printout lines. So we can delete those. No, they work now. And all we're doing is we're creating a string here of all the uh, necessary data that we're pushing in, the bid, the ask, ask size, um, and the last price. And of course, we are also including the Java description. Here in the Java description, all we care about is the symbol. So we parse out for the symbol, uh, which is really the fr uh, before the first um, space. So that's how we retrieve that here grab a substring, and then we do an L push of both the symbol, which is the resulting symbol that we're wanting that gets parsed out, 
And of course, the line of all that additional data I just mentioned. Close the connection, that's it, done. So um, that works. Now, the other cool thing is you can do the same kind of concept for JSTOC. I've mentioned this before. I think that's really important for those that want to watch the markets on the equity front, do the same thing, push into Redis, and you're off the races. Now, because you are running um, Redis, the cool thing is, is that um, if you go into uh, Redis IO, and uh, you pretty well can connect into any language now and do all your algorithms uh, with, with Redis. So any of these languages that support Redis, which is probably virtually everything under the sun, R, Python, MATLAB, C, C++, C Sharp, anything that's listed here, you can now retrieve that data from interactive brokers and be able to do all your algorithms and do all your cool stuff that you want to do. And then I'm going to show you another program down the line that will show you how to push an order into Redis to issue a order into TWS from interactive brokers using the same methodologies as if you're retrieving it. And it will work. Pretty cool. Okay, hopefully that'll help you out and have a good day.